Over the past six years since the SING conference began, the most asked question about choosing songs for worship services is how do we find opening songs? Opening songs that are energetic, full of joy, but rich in the Bible. And it's the hardest thing to write. And so we are so excited to introduce the song Rejoice to You and encourage you to try it out in your churches. We just did it at the SING conference. We actually wrote it back in June. We had all the writers over to our home in Ireland and Brian Fowler and Ben Shive had come up with this chorus with each breath he's given, praise the Lord in these times we live in, praise the Lord. And we're trying to kind of find how to get a verse that would set that up as a congregational song. It didn't necessarily feel congregational at the start. And so I have been reading the Anglican Book of Common Prayer and one of the calls to worship that they use in that is actually Philippians 4, rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice, let your gentleness be evident to all. The Lord is near. And I thought, well, I don't know of a song that uses that as a call to worship. And so he took verses one and two, made that the first verse. He took verses three and four, made that the second verse. He took five and six and made that the third verse. And it just seemed like such an incredibly positive call to worship, but also a really important song to be singing. Um, in church, uh, anxiety is a huge issue. Uh, among Gen Zers, it is the number one Called differential cause of breakdown in life or in character, family, everything else. And it's so frightening to think, to think that in the 1950s, my hero Leonard Bernstein set W.H. Auden's poem, The Age of Anxiety, play The Age of Anxiety to music. And to think that 70 years later, the level of anxiety, which at that point was considered fever pitch, today would be considered almost like a vacation to us. It's just a reminder of the anxiety all around us and the natural consequences of sin in society. When we go to church on a Sunday, when we listen to songs in the car, we need songs that speak to these issues, but they speak and they lift our heads with relief to the one who is our hope and he is the one in whom we can rejoice. We hope you can enjoy the song. We hope you can enjoy playing it over and over in the car and we hope you can enjoy teaching it to your congregation and encouraging them on a Sunday morning as they come away from all that, that, that drags them down in life. We hope that this will be a really inspirational and helpful song for your church in the next year.